I am at Target. I'm so excited. And boy, I've never felt like this before. I think I've seen you hit, but I don't know for sure. But I want you next to me, loving me in the sleep. Target in Clarksville, Tennessee, and I'm super excited to go in here and look at some of these products from So Cozy. Look at how colorful they are. Ooh. Look, baby, isn't this pretty? Yeah. You like it? So, number one, I love the bottle. I love the colors because it's for kids, so it gets her excited for when I'm about to do her hair. Like, ooh, grab this. It has all types of colors all over it. What color is this, baby? Um, Get it. What color is this one right here? It is white, Mama. What color? Oh, it's white? It's white. Yeah, it is white. Good job, baby. It's white, Mama. So now I'm going to show you guys how I take down Mimi's hair. Whenever I'm doing her hair in any way, Mimi eventually gets tired and falls asleep. So when you guys are asking how she sits still, she either watches her cartoons or she sleeps like knocked out, y'all. She has no problem with me messing with her hair while she sleeps look at her. See what I tell y'all, sleep. So Cozy asked me to do three reviews on their curl line. So they got the curl shampoo, the curl conditioner, and the curl gel cream. The curl conditioner is amazing. It actually conditions and it makes her hair feel really, really super soft. The curl gel cream, it holds her curls in without making it super hard. It also smells so good. This is my honest review. I'm really not saying this because this is a sponsored video. Like these products are amazing. I've never heard of these products until now and I'm definitely going to be going back to Target and buying a whole bunch more for her hair. It keeps her hair super soft, like the after effects of it being in her hair, these products, it's amazing. It's really amazing and I've been trying to find the best products for curly hair and I think I found it. The curl shampoo is what you guys are seeing me rinse out of her hair and it actually reduces breakage. The best part is it does all of this without stripping the hair or drying the hair out. Now the conditioner does the same exact thing. It actually prevents damage and breakage, but it also conditions without weighing the curls down. Now I also picked up the detangling spray which wasn't a part of the line, it was a different line that they have. But this smells so fruity and it was so easy to comb through her hair. I combed through her hair with a big tooth comb so you know not to lose too much hair. And now I'm going to use the curl gel cream. And the curl gel cream actually prevents frizz. If you're going to use it on dry hair you only use a little bit, you don't have to use a lot. And on wet hair it keeps the curl pattern. It's amazing. I wish that I wasn't actually braiding her hair or I wouldn't have blow dried it and I rarely blow dry her hair anyway because you know too much heat isn't too good for her hair but today I did so that you guys could see how I braid her hair. Now for beginners I'm just basically showing you how I braid and then I'm going to actually talk you through it.
So I braided the second piece so that it, the hair would be out of the way so you guys can really see it. So for beginners, I take two strands of the hair, I twist them and put them on different fingers. Okay, and then, so it's gonna, you're gonna have three fingers. On the front finger, you're gonna have one. On the last finger, you're gonna have one. And then the middle finger, you're gonna need to get a third piece and put it there. Then you're gonna twist them together and just kinda in a braiding motion. If you know how to braid um, not to the scalp, it's the same exact way when you're braiding to the scalp, except you're picking up piece after piece as you go along. So I hope this is helpful. Now we're going to speed it up and as you see later on I'm kind of going in a pattern um, so that her hair and her beads actually like fall to the side of her head. Um, but if you need to go back and look at how I did it really really slow then do that but now I'm just showing you guys exactly you know the pattern and the way that I braided her hair. I actually missed the piece and I had to go back as you guys saw and fix it right there. But after I fixed it, I just kept it moving, kept it going. You know how to keep that in because I'm a G, you know, I'm real. So I just show y'all when you mess up, you just unravel it, fix it, and then keep it braiding, keep it pushing. And we're done. Here's the finished product and my beautiful model. I actually threw in a heart. <laughs> that was my first time doing that, but I thought it was super cute. So yeah, this is it. This is the finished product. I hope it was easy to follow along if you don't know how to braid. I hope it helps some people out there. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.